Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more Dead Stranding. We are here for order number 5, which is from the way station to probably the distribution station. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. Mm -hmm. What have they given me? PCC. Sam. CC to build a post box. That's it. Okay. Take on order. Order for Sam. Uh, rare material, and this is construct a post box. So I think we're gonna do both. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's do both. Construct a post box and then go to the uh, this thing. So this is order number five. This is order number six. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's get them both. And we need post box. You'll need to use a PCC. Okay. It goes without saying. But if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. Okay. Uh, PCC total one. How many do you require? One on zero. So one is cool. There you go. And load everything on here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. I will. Oh, that's a lot of cargo. Order assigned. Cool. So we. Sam, assuming you've got your PCC in order. Mm -hmm. Head to the site I designated and build that post box, would you? You should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time. Okay. I see there. Cool. So we are going there and it looks like it's raining over there. Is it up top? It's a way station. How far is it? There, okay. Hey. Sam, remember that prolonged exposure to timefall damages cargo containers. Don't stay out in the rain any longer than you have to. Okay. So, if I go here and construct this, can it go all the way? Yay. Let's do that. And so I'll take this. That went well. This station. I'll probably pick that up. Designated site. Good. When you're ready to proceed, activate your PC. Mm. 
Big, that was easy. Nothing to it. Good work, Sam. Yep. That's a fine looking post box. If you access it and select share locker, you can share cargo and equipment with your fellow porters. Deposit a ladder and a climbing anchor, and I'm sure someone will eventually come along who can use it. If you've got enough supplies, why not leave some behind? Yep. Be right by others, they'll be right by you. That is true. This is a way station. You take that. And then there was a large cargo here as well. That is also a way station. So we'll take these, drop them to way station on our way, and then head to where we were heading. Okay. Now to position them. Manage cargo. And auto range. That should be cool. Going to waste station first, which is there. Hey, yeah, it is all yellow. I think I'm just going to use my ladder. What's happening, Sam? Are you tired? Got a long run, bro. Come on. Not right now. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Time for effect. I know. At least the ladder was in good position. Station. There's another dropped cargo. I think I'm gonna go there. If I'm not wrong. Yeah. Way station, way station. Wow. That is a lot of cargo. One is large, one is medium. How much am I carrying? 1.89, so I can do 30 more. That is medium, that one is large. I think I'm just gonna pick up the medium one. And we're gonna go deliver it. And then go towards the next one. Lost cargo, way station. Come on. Go to way station first. Sorry, this is the pace that I have to walk because this is the best I can. And since I was here, I just wanted to deliver this lost cargo and some goodwill. And then we're going to go and drop, drop off the actual cargo. Activate terminal. Make delivery. Deliver lost cargo. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Mm -hmm. Feel free to submit it here for processing. Thank you. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Cool. Deliver lost cargo. Deliver everything. Delivering cargo. Cool. I'm so glad you're here. Eh, me Gotta too. say. You truly are incredible. Mm -hmm. And then we got all of that. All right then. Thanks.
Thanks for everything. No problem. Good work. Good work. We are now headed to uh where are we headed? I am headed oh all the way there. Okay. I think I should follow this. Incinerator. Yeah, I think it's just in a straight line, so uh Let's go like that. Cool. Follow the straight line. Where is the straight line? Okay, like that. Cool. Weapons restrictions lifted. Thank you. They should have given me a gun. Instead, they're now experimenting on my blood. <coughs> Hmm. I don't know which one's worst. Hey, look at that. Or we can just run through the flat ground. That would be easier. Heads up, Sam. Uh huh. Your cargo's been pinged. Move now before someone has eyes on you. Well, I am get moving. Get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. Well, I am moving. I am moving. <laughs> I am running like hell. Whoa! What the hell was that? I'm being followed. Yay, come on, come on, come on. I have to go like this. Ah, these guys are following me. What happened? Ah, the time fall again. Hate it. Oh, oh. Mules gave you trouble, huh? Good thing it was raining. Even they know better than to mess with BTs. Mm hmm. Which means. I have to mess with BTs. I can see those threads. Those threads are the those guys. BTs in the call? I don't know. BT for bloody terrorist. Okay, I think I'm gonna go through them, right? I'll just keep to this. This is okay. How far do I have to go? Oh, there it is. There. I can see it. Just keep going straight. And then take a left one time. That should be cool. And that happened. Hey. This popped up. Means we are in trouble. 
and this is pointing to where it is seeing the BT, right? So it's seeing it there. There it is, so I can go through here. It is behind me. Don't worry, concentrate on the next one. So far so good. That rain. And I can't see anything. Well, looks like everyone's behind me, so that's a good sign. Let's see how far we are. So, we have to go here and then here. Cool. Cool. This says everyone will be behind me, right? Yay! What happened? Where is the distribution center? Okay. So I won't see them now. But I think the weather is clearing, which is a good sign. And I can just run towards it. Way station. I don't want way station. Actually, I just take for way station where the hell. And metal. Okay, so there is where I have to go. Looks like this is where we can cross. Probably put a ladder. Oh, there are two crossings. When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels, it triggers the production of harmful compounds. And okay, the body, go on. in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB is not performing to spec, Drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Okay. Go to the private room. First make a ladder here. See if it can go all the way through. No, I wanted it to go all the way through. How do I just land? Okay, never mind. Cross the yellow patch. Yeah. It should be okay. Hey, there's a bike. Let's deliver this cargo, get the BB fixed, and then go get the bike. made it in one piece which is cool beginning scan scanning bridges ID mm -hmm. verifying ID clear all weapons will remain locked until departure Cargo that is no problem thank you I don't have any weapons decontaminating suit rest is advised yes Rest is what I'm going to do.
Hello. Uh, deliver lost on you then deliver a question. Disconnected as well. Something in the middle remains. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Mules and drone syndrome, bridge babies, time for recycle. Oh. Mm-hmm. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Okay. First, let me deliver this lost cargo. Yay! To whoever it was. And then go to private. No. Your private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Okay. No, I'm good. Uh, I wanted private rest in private room. Yes. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. Ten. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, Connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. Mm -hmm. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long. 
which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the still mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. You should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. It may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand, there is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. Hmm. Why handcuff myself? Sleep just like that? But whatever. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Sam? Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east. Back home. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. Mm -hmm. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together. To help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hmm. Hello, 
Sam, this is Hardman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and so, and also my research as it happens. Mm -hmm. Take a shower then. Study other people with dooms? Everyone is riches, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relief, dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Okay, cool. And that's that. So, yeah, I think we'll just leave the room and done. Take a new order. Sam, there's something I forgot to tell you. It's about managing your BB stress levels and reducing the risk 
of autotoxemic attacks, there are a few things you can do if your BP starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, chant the rocket, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. <laughs> Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, alright? Dead man's honor. Dude. So, after a long list of cutscenes, if that's the proper word, we are finally done. So we are going to take another order and probably head to another north. Until then, take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.